Well, Mel, it's great to be here at the uh, Southern Metro Juniors Clinic. It's been fantastic so far. Met some great kids. They're having a ball, aren't they? And I love some of the questions they asked you before. <laughs> Can you recap? Well, they, they were genuinely interested in what you eat. There were some hard-hitting questions there. Favourite colour? Um, you get them all when you come out to these clinics, which is which is a bit of fun. And you can just see they absolutely love it as well, which is fantastic. How important is it, do you think, and I've already said this to a few people around here, how important is it to to give back to the young kiddies because you were a young kid once. Yeah, I just remember when we had the footy, footy guys come to our school, you just absolutely adore them and look up to them. So um, it's a big responsibility and something that I take quite seriously. So um, I'm aware that, yeah, I'm a role model for them and it's so good that they can have visible role models that they can mm. see and, and um, look up to. Yeah. Sometimes you pinch yourself because we're very lucky that we hang around the MCG a bit and meet all these wonderful footballers and you've met all the, the, the famous female footballers and Daisy Pierce, and of course you're one of those yourself but it's kind of different for you because you guys are the ones that are starting it off really. I've yeah. got all these older guys like and I spoke <laughs> before when I got to the Melbourne Footy Club, Gary Lyon was hitting a bit really. Yeah. So you're going to be that very soon. You pinch yourself sometimes and go, wow, you know, I'm, I'm an idol for some of these young girls. Yeah, it's pretty surreal. I think sometimes you get caught up in that bubble and that just that day to day training and like my friends are Daisy Pierce and Katie Brennan and that's what those sort of people so you do kind of get caught up in the bubble so mm. it's nice to take a step back and yeah and realize that it's such a big impact on on these girls and you see the groundswell that's happening yeah. with all the part, increased participation of girls and women getting involved with the game and they've been able to see it on their screens and in their papers so yeah. it's just so important. Absolutely I know my I came up in Tasmania and I had some great coaching along the way and it was always a pathway for me, you know, being a boy playing sport when I was younger, it was just easy. For girls, not so much. Now there is that pathway, isn't there? What? Tell me about your, um, I suppose, years 13, 14, 15 coming up playing football. Yeah, I didn't really get to play any footy, to be honest. Um, I played a little bit in primary school, but um, I would just kick around with my cousins and my friends and I kind of put that dream to the side, to be honest, and uh, threw myself into netball, which I really loved. But um, when I finally moved to Melbourne and found there was a comp here, I started playing and I haven't really looked back since. Oh, you certainly haven't. Playing on grounds like the MCG sort of <laughs> make it hard to look back, really, <laughs> doesn't it? Um, you know, but I, I tell kids when I, I speak to young boys at clinics, and girls, of course, but young boys particularly will ask me, what do I need to work on? What, what skill aspect? And I'll say, you know, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to practice your left foot, you know, your opposite foot, you need to practice your handball, all aspects of your game, you need to be a good person. What are you telling uh, young girls that are coming up playing football um, that want to make it to where you've got to? What's the advice? Yeah, I think it, it does take a lot of hard work. I think talent gets thrown around a lot that people are talented, but I think um, people have worked really hard at their at their craft. So, and it's such a strange shape ball, you, you really want to be touching it and, and getting your skills down and um, working on your kick and, and working on everything. You want to make your strength stronger and make your weaknesses, um, yeah, something that you're good at as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a lot of hard work. Um, you got to enjoy it as well, obviously, yeah. and, and surround yourself with good people. Um, yeah, and just just play the game. I think that's what for a lot of girls, um, they say, oh, what can you do? You just want to play the footy yeah. as much as you can. Is that the best part of it, just hanging out with your mates? Yeah, I think so. I reckon it's that after the siren and on the bus back. Yeah. And, yeah, just those moments with, you, with your friends and in the ice bars when you're making jokes and trying to pass the time. Yeah. Um, I guess they're the ones, they're the memories that you, yeah, you hold on to. Absolutely. I'll ask you your favourite moments um, I can remember back to a lot of them but there's some some kooky little ones like we played up in Darwin and we beat the Western Bulldogs in the game was it was obviously quite warm up there but in the last quarter the rains came down and it was tropical <laughs> rains I mean you couldn't even see the other end of the ground and we won by oh, I think it was even just under a goal um, and then we had to go into an ice truck at the oh, end of wow. the game because they didn't have the ice room uh, the, the, the refrigerator room they had the, a refrigerated truck and we all got <laughs> in the back and there was no lights in it so they shut the doors it was pitch black and then we sang the song oh, so awesome. loud and it reverberated in this yeah. it was one of those moments I'll never forget now I played on the G and grand final day and all those sorts of things that's right up there with one of the best what about yeah. yourself? I think our first win um, for this season against Collingwood um, 
we, we came from behind, obviously it was like a tale of two halves and just to get that first win on the board after so many months of hard work, um, yeah, singing the song and then go back into the rooms and kind of having that inner sanctum um, sing with our group and um, Meg Downey had been knocked out and we actually went into where she was and, and sung the song quietly with her, which was, was a really beautiful moment because she um, yeah. obviously didn't get to finish off the game with us, so... Um, and then again, again, sort of in the bus on the way back from our Bulldogs win, just mm. singing at the top of our lungs yeah. to, to different songs. Yeah, I think I think the wins you always remember for yeah. sure. Do you have any embarrassing moments? For me, I don't really remember too many embarrassing moments, like maybe kicking it the wrong way when it, we're kicking to the left, I kicked it to the right. I remember <laughs> doing that once. I remember I actually was I, somebody embarrassing for somebody else. So I got the ball once. And I was running and my own teammate tackled me to the ground. <laughs> I was so disappointed because I was running into an open yeah. goal. <laughs> he was so I embarrassed. Give he him a spray for you. Yeah, he owed me big time. Do you have anything like that that's ever happened to you? Not really. I've there was a, a mark of... I saw taken on you. Recently. Oh, yeah, that was pretty embarrassing, to be honest. Um, <laughs> have a specky taken on you. It happened so quick and I turned around and I was like, oh, what she's happened? literally just <laughs> taken mark of the year on my back. <laughs> and then to, to rub things in, I got back and my mum had sent me a photo of it. I was oh, like, come on, mum. Cruel. <laughs> yeah, no, that's football though. There's ups and there's downs yeah. all the way. And do you say that to kids as well? You know, you've got to prepare yourself for ups and downs because it's not always just smooth sailing. Yeah, for sure. I think um, obviously injuries are a big part of football as well. So you have to have a lot of resilience in footy. That there's there's wins, there's losses, there's um, yeah injuries, there's hard work. So you have to be able to kind of go on the roller coaster yeah. that is football. And uh, it's not always sort of downhill skiing, that's for sure. And I think that's when you again you want to surround yourself with good people and no. um yeah to help you get through the hard times that's too that's right you got to train hard you can't relax with football but you can definitely relax on a football because we're relaxing on one <laughs> right now how good is this couch got to get one amazing i actually yeah we'll steal it from sarah and yeah. we'll bring a ute down or something. i got the ute we'll chuck it in the back <laughs> good on you man it's been days. great chatting thanks robo